in this session we will discuss one of the most important biomolecules lipids the basic aspects of lipids and their biomedical importance objectives of this session are at the end of the session the learner shall be able to define lipids and their biomedical importance then what are lipids what are the first thing which comes to our mind is what are lipids lipids are heterogeneous group of substances they are many different types are present okay heterogeneous and they are organic molecules they are organic molecules okay and and found in living organisms found in living okay organisms so lipids are heterogeneous group of substances and then they are organic molecules and found in living organisms and they are utilizable due to the living systems so they are utilizable okay with the diverse functions a wide variety of functions are there as far as the lipids are concerned now taking this basis let us define lipids that is our first object to that is our first object to so we can say lipids are small organic substances organic okay substances substances the insoluble in water mostly insoluble in water there may be exceptions such as glycerol okay in water insoluble in water but in which solution they are soluble but soluble soluble in non polar solvents soluble in non polar solvents okay what are those non polar solvents for example the non polar solvents such as chloroform okay chloroform ether okay then hot alcohol and acetone benzene many benzene okay so ccl4 carbon tetra chloride carbon tetra chloride in this they are soluble next we will take up the second object to what is the second object to the biomedical importance biomedical importance the second object to is biomedical importance so we will study one by one the first one is important dietary constituents so along with the carbohydrates so proteins okay lipids are important dietary constituents okay they are major nutrients they are major nutrients so they act as fuel very rich in energy suppose suppose if you take lipids 1 g lipids if you take 1 g of lipid approximately we get 9.5 kilo calories if you compare with the other nutrient that is carbohydrate carbohydrate if you take the same 1 g so there will be it will be there is a 4.0 kilo calories of course proteins proteins are also like that but we don't talk proteins in the reference to the energy production okay the other advantage is the lipids are stored in anhydrous form the lipids are stored in anhydrous form okay anhydrous form glycogen is stored but there is a component of water okay so one the same amount of glyco glycogen okay suppose it has to be stored it is almost there is same amount plus same amount 
same amount of water. That means, literally it means, so one gram of liquid is stored, it is as such one gram. If one gram of glycogen is stored, it will be equivalent to two grams weight. Two grams weight. In that sense, when you talk about the how much energy, we get it. So, generally liquids are stored in the form of triacyl glycerol. Triacyl glycerol. Okay, glycerol. So, the triacyl glycerol will give the six times, six times more energy. More energy that is in terms of by weight, by weight, okay, than glycosin. Than glycosin. So that is the advantage of storing in the form of triacyl uh, lipids, triacyl glycerol. So imagine if a person is having the 70 kilograms out of this one, there are 15 kilograms stored in the form of triacyl glycerol. If you replace that one, with the glycosin to get the same energy, his weight will not be 75, it will be much more than the 75, it is beyond 100 kg. Okay, so that is the advantage of storing lipids. Okay, the, the second aspect. So, another important aspect is the lipids can be stored, can be stored, stored in unlimited unlimited okay amount amount compared to the carbohydrates compared okay to carbohydrates carbohydrates okay so when you see the obese person what we say it is due to the excess lipids we don't say it is due to the excess carbohydrates. We don't say excess proteins. Okay, so the storage lipids are major dietary elements. Okay, then the next one is okay, subcutaneous fat. Subcutaneous subcutaneous fat, subcutaneous fat as act as thermal insulator. What does it mean? Thermal insulator. So, this subcutaneous fat prevents the escape of the heat. So, decreases the loss of body heat. Body heat. Okay. So, that helps in maintaining of okay, body temperature. body temperature okay that is the another important aspect function of the lipids next the next one is they act as a padding material lipids so they act as padding material what does it mean the padding material so the padding material lipids are around internal organs around internal internal okay so organs organs by layering around internal organs they give the cushioning effect cushioning okay effect so that means shock proof okay cushioning effect then the fifth one is so they act as a building material lipids they act as building material what does it mean, the building material? Here, from the fat, maybe triacyl glycerol, maybe another lipids. So, they are breaking down. Breaking down. So, when they break down, so those products are useful in the synthesis. In the synthesis of important biomolecules biomolecules okay that is another important aspect point. let us go to the next point okay involved in the formation of involved in the formation of okay surfactants surfactants so they are 
useful in the decrease in the surface tension. So very important for physiological function of the lungs and emulsifiers. Emulsifiers. Emulsifiers because they are important in the digestion and absorption of the fat, lipids and also soaps and detergents. The detergents and soaps, they have the detoxifying aspect, bactericidal. Okay, they kill the pathogenic organisms. Then the next one is the one group of fatty acids. We call it essential fatty acids. Essential fatty acids. Okay, so these essential fatty acids, they are required for the normal growth. Okay, normal growth and health. Okay, that we will discuss in the section of the essential fatty acids. Next is help in absorption and utilization of okay, fat soluble vitamins. We have fat soluble vitamins, they are supplied in the diet. Okay, they are vitamin A, vitamin K, okay, and vitamin E and vitamin D. Okay, so such fat soluble vitamins for absorption and utilization, lipids are required. Okay, then the most one of the most important aspects is the lipids, so they are required. Okay, the structural lipids. Structural lipids, a group of lipids, structural lipids such as phospholipids. So they give the shape, triacylglycerol, these all these lipids, they give shape and contour. Okay, then the next one is let us take about the nervous system. Nervous system. Okay. So nervous system is rich in lipids. Rich in lip lipids. One of the lipids which are present in nervous system are a group of lipids called sphingolipids containing sphingol as alcohol. Okay, so it acts as acts as insulator in myelin sheath. Insulator in so myelin sheath. Okay, then. The next one are, okay, so fatty acids, a group of fatty acids, as I said, essential fatty acids, especially. So they are required for the synthesis of, they are required for the synthesis of prostaglandins, a group of biomolecules which have wide variety of functions, prostaglandins. And prostacyclins, prostacyclins, okay, and leukotrienes, leukotrienes, and lipoxins, lipoxins, okay. Then the next one is one important biomolecule, cholesterol. Cholesterol is a beautiful molecule having. 27 carbons. Cholesterol from the cholesterol it acts as a precursor for steroid hormones. Steroid hormones. Okay, then it acts as production of the bile acids. And it is required for the synthesis of vitamin D. Vitamin D. Cholesterol is very important. Without cholesterol, survival is not possible. And if the cholesterol levels are increased, then survival becomes difficult. Okay, then. So there is another important lipids that is galapto, galapto ceramide. So they are compound lipid, glycolipids, and cholesterol, cholesterol, okay, function. Function as electrical insulator. Electrical 
insulator insulators between neurons between neurons okay so that is one important aspect finally finally there are a group of lipids are there lipoproteins lipoproteins okay and phospholipids phospholipids so they have important role okay so they are important role in the maintenance of cell membrane okay constituents constituents of cell membrane cell membrane without phospholipids we cannot imagine the cell membrane structure okay so these are various functions of lipids let us summarize so we have taken in this session lipids and their biomedical importance okay objectives are at the end of the session the learner shall be able to okay give the definition of the lipids and their biomedical importance lipids are heterogeneous uh, organic molecules found in the living organisms they are utilizable now we have taken the definition the definition is small organic substances insoluble in water but soluble in non polar solvents such as chloroform ether or alcohol acetone benzene carbon tetrachloride the second object to the biomedical importance okay so they are important dietary constituents so they act as fuel lipids as i said compare the lipids and carbohydrates what is the advantage of lipids in the purpose of energy and storage okay then it can be stored in unlimited amount compared to the carbohydrates okay then subcutaneous fat as thermal insulator prevents the loss of heat from the body maintaining the body temperature okay then next one is a padding material around internal organs so giving the cushioning effect and shock proof okay then building material the products of the fat okay then break breakdown products of the fat leads synthesis of many biomolecules okay then formation of surfactants emulsifiers soaps and detergents there is a group of so fatty acids they are called essential fatty acids they cannot be synthesized in our body they are to be supplied in the diet so they are required for the normal growth and health and lipids help in the absorption and utilization of a fat soluble vitamins such as vitamin a k e and d then lipids act as a structural components giving the shape and contour to the body okay then nervous system is rich in lipids such as sphingolipids act as insulator in myelin sheath okay then fatty acids like essential fatty acids synthesis of prostaglandins okay prostacyclins and leukotrienes and lipoxins then cholesterol is very important uh, lipid and it is required for the steroid hormones bile acids and vitamin d also it is present in the membranes okay then galactoserumide and cholesterol they are the electrical insulator between the neurons and finally lipoproteins lipoproteins and phospholipids they are the constituents of cell membrane so these are the various aspects of lipids in the next session we will discuss about classification of lipids okay thank you thank you very much